going to be a night of fantasies and fairies, a real ball, and it is happening right here on our CBS studio lot. St. Baldrick's Foundation is planning the ball as a fundraiser to fight childhood cancer. They do such great work right here in our community. And Hazel Hammersley, a young cancer survivor, is going to be the belle of that ball. Hazel's mom, Lauren, is here along with Kathleen Ruddy, the CEO of St. Baldrick's Foundation. Welcome, ladies. Well, thank thank you. you for having us. So this is going to be a great night. It's going to be for the children, but it's also going to be for the adults. We're talking about dancing and cocktails. Yes. And it's a, a sort of a way to celebrate some of these young patients, but also also raise funds for this important fight. Absolutely. Um, we work every day to try and raise awareness of the um, challenges that kids with cancer face. Uh, every, somewhere in the world a child is diagnosed with cancer every two minutes and one in five of the children in the U.S. who are diagnosed with cancer will not survive. And those who do, two-thirds of them will have lifelong late effects that impact their future quality of life. <clears throat> so we're trying to support research that will improve their lives in treatment, beyond treatment, and make sure more of them live. Yes. And Lauren, I know this is a very personal fight for you. Your yes. little girl, five-year-old Hazel, uh, was diagnosed with cancer and was cancer-free for a few years. Mm -hmm. But then just recently, you got some really bad news. Yeah, just three weeks ago, actually, um, we found out that her cancer returned. And it's been a rough couple of weeks for our family, but we've all been looking forward to this ball. We um, dreamt this up a couple of years ago mm -hmm. because St. Baldrick's has been such an amazing organization supporting kids like my daughter. And we knew we wanted to give back, and so we planned this amazing night with St. Baldrick's. And Hazel's been looking forward to it so much, so I'm so glad she's going to be well enough to go. And um, because of St. Baldrick's, something really unique has happened. The treatment that she's receiving for her relapse is actually a drug that was approved by the FDA last year because of a clinical trial funded by St. Baldrick's. And so now it's even more important for our family to give back to them. And when we talk about these treatments, really, uh, LA is a place where a lot of cutting edge research is going on. A lot of the technology, a lot of the medication is coming right out of this community. And it's so heartwarming to see that it's being used for kids who, yes. who are here. What are you telling Hazel about the ball? What does she imagine <laughs> that night is going to be? Because I'm sure her life yes. right now is all Disney princesses and, <laughs> yes. and uh, in, in between those, those treatments that are so tough. She has a, a yeah. lot to look forward to. Yeah, she knows it's going to be a golden evening. Gold is the color for childhood cancer. So she spent a lot of weeks shopping online for the right dress and oh. she's finally picked a beautiful gown and she's just, she can't wait. She can't wait to see her, her friends and family that are supporting her and she can't wait to to raise funds for childhood cancer. That's actually something that she really is um, in support of. And like she likes to give back. And so I think she's excited for all the aspects of it. And I think for laughing. We all are, because it's a big night of comedy. We have a, a great lineup of comedians coming, including Dane Cook and Tom Papa. And it's hosted by my good friend Vinnie Fastline. And so it's going to be a good night. Laughter is a really good medicine. Mm, absolutely. And what can people expect when they arrive? I, I know there's going to be a red yeah. carpet. <laughs> Yes, that's right. Red carpet, there'll be entertainment, mm -hmm. as Lauren mentioned. Um, there'll be wonderful foods and some things that will take you back to your childhood. Um, mm -hmm. Some dancing and a few other special princess elements that I think we'll <laughs> keep for the big night because we want Hazel and so many others to be excited and mm -hmm. surprised. Yes. And a special honoree, our own Christine Lazar, is going to be honored. I know that she's done some stories with Hazel yes. and, and your family throughout this entire thing. So it really is going to be a special night on New York Street, right yes. here uh, on our mm -hmm. uh, studio lot, which is always such a, a, a beautiful setting. So ladies, uh, we wish you both the best <laughs> and have a great night. Tickets still available, right? Yes. That's right, and anybody who's interested in attending or supporting the event in any way can visit stbaldricks.org slash everafterball to learn all about it. Yeah, we have all the information on our website yeah. as well. Thank you both so much. Wonderful. All right, again, the Ever After Ball <laughs> is this Saturday. It's right here on our CBS studio lot in studio City. All the magic starts at 6 o'clock. Tickets still available for more information on how to get your tickets. Just go to kcal9.com. You can click Scene on TV.